What's up guys, it's Dano, and this is going to be my guide on how to get the wonder weapon, the scorpion gun, in the map 9. Now, there are multiple steps to this guide, and you can get this gun, this wonder weapon, out of the box, but if you don't want to do that, you can do this manually. There is a manual way with steps to get this weapon in the game. Now, things that you might need for this are the shield, which I have a guide for, and a pack-a-punch strife, which I also have a guide for on my channel. So click that I in the top right corner now if you don't know how to do some of those things. Also, pack-a-punch is a big part of this. You're going to have to get pack-a-punch, so make sure you guys know how to do those things before we start here. But if you do, let's get into it. Alright guys, so this guide basically starts from the very beginning. If you know how the challenges work and how to get this pot to appear, that is a part that you are going to need because it is something that you're going to have to build the acid trap with. And this guide for the Wonder Weapon is also going to be basically my guide on how to build this trap as well. So it, it's kind of a two-in-one if you ask me. But anyways, that part is very crucial. But what you want to do is, it really starts when you unlock Pack-a-Punch. Alright guys, now after you unlock Pack-a-Punch, what you can do is you can get the rest of the parts for the trap in this room. All you have to basically do is go on each of the sides that have like the enclosed with all the cages and bones. And on the sides, you're going to go in the corners and you're going to find parts, okay? One of them is going to be this cog. If you're in the room and you're facing back with Pack-a-Punch, you go left, okay? If you're in the room from the other side and you're facing Pack-a-Punch, you go left. It's always gonna be the left side, and one of them is that cog, the other one is this chain right here. You wait for the fire if you don't, if you don't wanna get hit. And then you have all three parts as you can see at the top right there to build the acid trap. And we'll get into that just a bit later. After the Pack-a-Punch is unlocked though, you can come to the side that's facing Pack-a-Punch, come out here, look down this hallway, and you will see this flaming cauldron. All you have to do is shoot this cauldron, it'll fall over, fire and you'll see some fire around. that sparks up and swirls. It's not regular fire. Fiery. Once you've successfully done that, and you can do that with pretty much any gun, you're going to want to come to the top of the temple. The spawn side temples come to the bridge and look down in the middle here you're gonna see this flaming symbol which is actually an arrow ignore the hook part and look at the arrow itself on the end it's gonna be pointing to one of the temples and it could be pointing to the one that you're standing next to or not it could be any of the four this is pointing to the temple because in that temple there's going to be a head that spawns and I'm gonna show you all the spawns just in case it's pointing to a, to a different temple in your game if it's in the raw temple you don't want to go to the bottom all the spawns are going to be in the bottom levels of the temples the head is going to be somewhere by on the bottom or in the back of these flaming cauldrons around the room Anywhere these spots the head will be you just hold square you can't really see it that well But you will see it in your inventory slot Spawn if it's in a Danu tower Then I like to call it Dano tower y'all y'all get that all right never mind. We're back to the guy. All right, so it's gonna be just floating in the water here This is probably one of the easiest places to see it. It's gonna be right in the water It's gonna look like this huge lump you're gonna be like oh there it is and you just hold square and pick it up if it's in the Zeus temple, you're going to go to the bottom level here with the blood bath. I, I like to call it the blood bath or whatever. But it's all this blood and it's going to be in the dark corner. Now you're like the, you might be like, which corner is it? It could be one of these corners, either this one or this one. I usually only find it in one corner, but it's basically in the corner. And it's very hard to see. So I would just go up to the corner here, just kind of hold square. You know, if you can't really see it, but if you look hard, you will see it, but most likely, likely you're going to be in a rush. Finally, the one in my game, in Odin Tower, you're going to go down to the bottom, like any other one, and you see this big cauldron in the middle of the room. 
basically it's going to be underneath this big cauldron in the corner you can see this is what the head looks like pretty easy to spot again it won't say hold to pick up because it's a special you know special part so you're just gonna have to know it's there hold square and pick it up now you can see that this head is indeed in my inventory now what we're going to be doing with this head is you're going to need to now craft that acid trap that we talked about earlier you can do this at any of the four temples it's very convenient each temple has a spot a location outside of it or on the steps of it that you can craft this trap in this case an odin tower i'll just craft it here because conveniently my head was at this but don't get it confused okay you do not have to build the trap at which temple you found the head once you craft the trap you're gonna see that now the cauldron is above it you know the, the parts that they make sense you have to hold square on this grate to put the head on this grate. These zombies are getting annoyed. I wonder, was it worth? Once you put the head on the grate, you're gonna see it there, and all you have to do now is activate the trap. Now, be careful. Do not walk in the trap. It will instantly down you, even if you do it like right before. You cannot do it. I've tested it out, and it does not work. So once you activate the trap, what it does is it basically melts the head kind of weird kind of creepy but after that you're gonna want to pick up this little piece i don't know if you guys can see it with the body but it looks like a little scorpion okay you're gonna pick up that piece and now you're gonna see that piece in your inventory okay this next step is probably the hardest and the most frustrating out of all the steps we've done so far a lot of people even myself have kind of struggled with this but i've kind of figured it out and i want to share it with you guys so that you can do it as easy as possible basically you have to get good crowd affinity which is that little hand in the bottom left corner that's kind of a thumbs up right now kind of glowing green for me in your game you have to have this hand thumbs up as well the better it is the more of a chance you're gonna have of getting this step right the crowd is going to throw okay an item at you. you. Want to get close, huh? Now they do this periodically throughout the game if you have good crowd affinity. It'll say crowd affinity item available and you'll probably see it. I'll point it out soon in my game. But eventually the crowd announcer is going to say something along the lines of a gift from Sir Kent. At least I think that's what he says because I've heard it so many times. He will say gift from the gods most of the time, but that is always going to be a power-up. When you hear him say a gift from Sir Kent, that means that you did the step correctly. Now, I bet you guys are wondering, Dano, how do we get good crowd of finish? Now, I'm going to tell you right now. Basically surviving is how you get good crowd affinity but if you want to get more in depth with it it's more like using your special weapon killing with your special weapon reviving players not getting hit by the fire that comes up from the ground um killing with grenades just getting power-ups you know just anything that's good you'll see that hand kind of slowly turn and and just completely the crowd will love you the crowd will love you. Do not throw grenades at the crowd, you know. I really want to, but at the same time, it's not what you want to do for this step specifically. And I've gone games where it takes, you know, it takes rounds to get this. Like, it, it's round like 14, you know, some games, and I'm getting it. But just keep going. You will get it eventually as long as you have good crowd affinity. Now, you can see that my hand right now is still kind of pointing sideways i'm just gonna play a little bit more and then i'm gonna wait until it goes up and i start getting items from the crowd all right guys so now it's his crowd affinity item available but we didn't hear him say anything like a gift from sir kent did we so obviously it's just double points, double points. now you're also gonna see some maybe confetti when they throw it out and you can also when you hear him say it look up and you can see them throwing it at you to see where it lands in the arena all right so you guys just saw a power up being thrown at me you saw the confetti i hope and it says crowd affinity item available but again we did not hear him say what we need him to say 
All right, guys, so pay attention to my hand in the bottom left corner. I have finally gone through a few rounds, and it has changed to a totally thumbs-up hand with now green sparks coming off of it. This is definitely a really good sign. If you guys see this in your game, this basically boosts the chance of now you getting this part and completing this step because it takes a few rounds for the thumb to change. A gift from Sir Kent. And there it is, guys. Did you hear him? A gift from Sir Kent. I just finished my round. I heard that. And now I bet you're wondering, well, what happens now? Now, even if you don't see it being thrown into the arena, what's being thrown into the arena is this little golden cup. That's what you guys have been waiting for this entire time. I know, right? So frustrating. But it's finally here. All you're going to do with that is hold square on that. Don't worry. It's not going to be in the same spot every time, but it is going to be in the arena every time. So as soon as you hear a gift from Sir Ken, and remember, anybody from the game, pick it up. So don't let them steal it from you, lads. You're going to want to pick that up. Now, on to the next step. All right, guys. So the next step you're going to be needing to go to the Danu Temple, the Dano Temple, and you're going to be wanting to go down to the bottom. You're near the end, so congratulations. All you have to do now is go down to the bottom here and find the tree with the hole in it. Now, you're going to want to look at the trees here. It's always going to be this one, and it's going to have this hole in it. And all you got to do now is put your parts in there. Now, it's not going to work by holding square all the time, but what I like to do is hold square, knife, crouch, prone, do anything you can. You're going to see this sap dripping down into this canister once you do that, if you did it correctly. Remember, you have to put both of them down. You don't have to just put one. You have to do the top in the hole, and then you have to put the cup down, down below. So make sure you put both of those parts down, and then once you see the sap dripping, you know that you're doing it right. All you have to do now is wait, I'd say, about a round, and you're waiting for that cup to basically fill up with that sap from the scorpion that's dripping out of the tree. Once the round is over, like it is in my game, the cup will most likely be filled. You'll see the little, I guess, greenish yellowish goo, and you'll be able to pick that up. Again, you'll see it in the inventory. Now, you are almost done. Remember, any other players in the game can do this. So if you're the one that's supposed to be getting the free wonder weapon, make sure people know and make sure you're playing with players that are being nice to you. Otherwise, it might get stolen. All you guys have to do now is locate the mystery box. Looks like for me, it's going to be down underground. Once you guys find the mystery box, what you're going to want to do is go to the side of it. And it's going to say, hold to poison the mystery box. You're going to poison the mystery box and it's going to look green. Make sure that you guys are the one that spins it after doing this. So I would suggest not having your teammates around you. And inside of it will spawn the death of Orion. The scorpion gun, mystery weapon, whatever you want to call it on this map. And now you have it. Congratulations. If you want to click off the video now, fine. Congratulations. But I'm going to show you how this gun works right now against these bosses. It's very useful. So basically, you kind of have three ways of using this weapon. You can just do a single tap to fire this electric shock at them. It doesn't do much, but it does do a good amount of damage. But I would not consider spamming this because if you hold it twice, it'll shoot a little bit of a stronger attack. You wait for it to click. Count about two seconds. Now, if you really want the strongest attack and the best part of this wonder weapon, in my opinion, is if you hold it down for three clicks. Now, you're going to see that the top is kind of glowing. And when you fire this, it's going to bring him into this electric shock kind of mode. And the best thing about this is that it will branch off to the other zombies around. So now he's close, so he's going to get branched. He actually gets killed. And the guy that you zapped is going to get completely held. It's almost like if you were using the Ragnaroks in Black Ops 3, and you're kind of holding him hostage in your little electric trap. But this is absolutely amazing, and it's overpowered. I'm going to show some more gameplay right after I Pack-A-Punch this bad boy. Now, Pack-A-Punching it is easier, just like any other weapon. You put it in the Pack-A-Punch, it takes it, and it's going to spit the Pack-A-Punch. Circuit Kiss back at you. Now, you can't pack a punch it again after that, obviously, because it's the wonder weapon, but 
This thing is very powerful. Guys, as you can see, I have quite the horde here of zombies. Because I'm training them all up here. It's only round 14, but this is quite the horde. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the power of this wonder weapon right now. Let's go. Just like I said before, it's going to branch off to the other zombies, and it's going to hold them. You can walk in between them. They won't hurt you. You know, try and track more zombies into that chain so that they die too. And then... Boom. The entire horde is knocked down. It's absolutely insane. This thing is so good and so useful on high rounds. But I must tell you that about round 38 when I got there, it would not kill them within a single third tick shock. So like when I, when I do this and it holds them hostage like that, even though it's stunning them and holding them and hurting them a ton... It would take about two of those to kill a whole, a whole horde of zombies, whereas just now you saw me do it with one. So it does start depleting once the higher rounds get up, but as long as you're not going past, I'd say, round 40 with this thing, I think it'll be pretty useful with you, especially for Easter egg stuff. But that's it for me. That's for another video. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out all the other guides because... I hope you like how I do my guides. I'll see you guys next time. Dano, out.